Hello, peeper, peeper, beeper. How have you been? We have the news on the new Dragon of the Month, and anyone that was checking the Cardex actually already knew what the Dragon of the Month was going to be. But the next month's Dragon of the Month, the Legendary, is going to be the Legendary Wasteland Dragon. As you can see here, he is a Legendary Metal and Earth Dragon. So a very, very defensive boy. So if you were just looking for a Legendary to fill your team slot, and you want a super defensive one, maybe this guy would work out for you. I mean, I kind of like his design. He's a cool dragon. And of course, he is part of the film genres of Summer Collection. So you'll need to get him in order to get the grand prize dragon at the end of the three month interval. But we knew he was already coming for a while now. But if we want to know how to actually breed this dragon, we do have the Game Loft Forums post here. So here he is in his adult form, we've got his baby form, and we have his egg here, nice and cute. And the elements that you're going to need to use to breed this dragon are going to be plant, earth, metal, and water, as you can see at the bottom there. So, you'd be thinking, well, there's a lot of possible different combinations we could use with that combination there, quags. And, of course, the DML Planner will update with these soon. I just don't think they've got it actually on the website. So I highly suggest you keep checking this link and then they'll have it all up there. But I don't mind also always post all of the different combinations as well. And so some notable combos that you're going to be wanting to use for this dragon are going to be Coral plus Earth. Because that's quite an easy one to get a hold of. If you've got the Dial, Jormungand or Warrior Dragons, that can work as well. Another fan favourite tends to be the Rust plus Plant Dragons because obviously the Rust Dragon being the easier to breed dragon that he is, quite a lot of people have the Rust Dragon and not some of the other epics. So Rust plus Plant is another really, really good combination. And we've also got Kitsune plus Metal. So along with that, you can also use the Celestial Cocktail, Arboreal, Zhang, Pineapple, Chestnut, Panda. They really need to stop with all of these repeat elemental combination dragons there. That is another really good one with quite a low set of possible outcomes. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six other possible outcomes. It's gonna give you quite high odds. And then of course, we're also gonna have people that don't even have any rares or epics, in which case a good combo for that is gonna be something like Mercury plus Tree, or we've got Minotaur plus Melon is also going to work pretty good and those are the possible outcomes there. And again, I'm sure we'll find all of these on the DML Planner, so when it goes up you'll see all of those with even more stats on there, but those are the possible combos to get ready for next month because he's going to be here in a couple of days time, so you don't have long to wait. So. That is the Wasteland Dragon, which I wanted to go through first. We do also have the Cockerel Dragon coming as the Dragon of the Week. And this is kind of a special dragon because people voted for this as their favorite out of a selection of what was it, four different dragons. And then everyone got to pick which color they wanted this Cockerel Dragon to be. And you all chose purple instead of the beautiful turquoise you colored one. I'm very, very ashamed, but either way, we have this purple cockerel dragon coming as the dragon of the week and to breed it you're gonna have to breed together smoke plus rainbow and with that there's quite a few outcomes not gonna lie but it is a 20 hour breed 16 hours with vip and it is a wind shadow and fire dragon so actually this cockerel dragon elements are pretty good not gonna lie elements for an epic not too bad so, um, say if it was your first ever epic or something like that, this is actually a pretty decent one at that. So, I'm going to be eager to get both of those new dragons for definite. We do also have the upcoming event schedule which has been posted. So, we can see all of this stuff here. We have a bottomless dungeon coming with the bubble dragon for anyone that never got him before. We have clan seed which, boring. We have a Heroes Challenge event, which I believe includes that new Cockerel Dragon, because the way they normally do it is Dragons of the Week get included, they use the Dragon of the Week, and you go through a little map set of battles to finish off the Heroes Challenge, and they're just looking for excuses to get you to spend your gems, and for doing that you can get, what is that, the Splotch Dragon? 
has a weird name. It is a weird dragon, but that is going to be the Heroes Challenge from June the 1st to the 8th as well. So that is the same time as the Bottomless Dungeon. Then we've got the Dragon of the Month on the 1st of June as well. Golden Opportunity. And then the Community Dragon being the Dragon of the Week from the 1st to the 8th of June. So all of these events are going from the 1st to the 8th of June next week. Of course, the Divine event itself will technically be over by that point. So you won't have that to worry about anymore. But all of this information is here. So again, Bottomless Dungeon, Bubble Dragon players have a chance to find the Relic of Farming and Extra Den Relic, with the Dungeon Shop Dragon being the Bell Dragon, for anyone that wants that. Then Clan Siege, whatever, Dragon of the Week, Cockerel, Hero Challenge, using only the Cockerel Dragon, defeat dragons, and progress through the challenge to claim the final prize of the Splotch Dragon. And then we also have Brit's Brits Breeding, yes, Brits Bleeding. We've got Brits Bleeding event going from June 1st to the 8th as well, which was not actually on that weekly calendar, where race against the clock and use the Cockerel Dragon and the Splotch Dragon to breed the legendary Libra Dragon. And for this event, the Libra Dragon has a base 5% breeding chance, which isn't too bad. That is a major, major boost compared to what it would be without that. So that is the Cockerel and the Splotch Dragon, which means you have to get the Cockerel Dragon, you have to go through the entire Heroes Challenge, and then you have to breed that um, Breeding Blitz Dragon all within the same week. <laughs> so you have to breed it, you have to get the other one, then you have to breed the other one. It's asking a lot of the players, not going to lie. Like, that is quite a lot to ask. But, you know, we're used to these um, breeding blitz events. So, um, you know, that is what you have to look forward to. So um, I hope that has prepared you for the upcoming week. And of course, with it being a Friday, we do also have the Whale Mart here. We have five dragon tickets that you can get in exchange for 500,000 gold. We've got some Dragon Fury Essence in exchange for Portal Gems. Don't suggest this. We've got some Extraordinary Mats, more gem deals. Just three lots of gem deals that are not worth the value at all. So again, Trash Wild Mart, very underwhelming. I'm quite sad that we didn't have any Divine Tickets in this one. I don't know why I would have appreciated them being Divine Tickets for not a gem deal, but that is what we have to work with. And of course we also have weekend events and for anyone that is still trying to get certain dragons out of the chest such as myself like i'm still trying to get that data dragon then these events here you will want to get in on so we've got the vip event being golden gatherer and in this you can get what is that 20 30 different or what is that 40 tickets even i can't count anymore 40 tickets so that is the Golden Gather event. You want to get in on that, get those tickets. And we also have the non VIP version, which is the dinner time event. And you can get 20 extra tickets out of that. So there's quite a good additional mini influx of tickets. I believe this may be the last lot of tickets that we can get. So this is going to be a lot of people's last chance to really get any value out of those divine chests for free. So. I wish you the very, very best of luck with that. And, of course, we've still got the castle event going on for a few more days. You can see I've been stacking up a little bit of event currency, but considering that each chest takes, like, what is it, nearly 12,000, some of them over 12,000 event currency to open up, it takes a lot of hoarding and grinding and mindless creature clicking, um, honestly. I have not been impressed with this castle event. You could say, yeah, well, it's just the same as every other castle event, but it's not. It's not because of the earning amounts and the flying creatures and just a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. I might end up ranting about it again. You know me, I used to do lots of big rants about all the various events and stuff, but these castle events just seem to get worse and worse the longer we go on. And plus, with this castle event, we also have the annoyance of the fact that the rewards just aren't really that great, all things considered. <laughs> so, um, 
and that just makes everything feel so much worse and the fact that you've got like a couple of resets worth of leeway really yeah it's been a painful painful event but you know is what do we expect we've had the same event for like 500,000 million times <laughs> I'm going insane the more times I have the same event given to me just with a different coat of paint is gonna make me actually lose my mind but anyway like I said, we've got all of those new breeds coming, so Cartoon is only going to be here for another two days. I love him, but he's going to be going soon. Um, but I'm excited for the new breeds, and I'm not going to lie, I did actually buy the second breeding den because it was on sale for the 60 days, and it has been a long-ass time since I've actually made a breeding den purchase, and I predict that within the next 60 days there is going to be an important event or maybe something substantial that's going to happen which is why I have justified this £4 purchase for the first time in like 6 months so um, we'll see if I'm wrong then I will eat up my purchase it's just, it has been such a long time since I've actually had two breeding dens so I was like, ah screw it because the problem is a lot of the time with two breeding dens you need to have four hatchery slots to make it worth it but if we're going for long breeds like dragon of the months and things like that sometimes it can still have its uses but we'll see we'll see maybe i'm just a moron anyway that is gonna do me for now let me know what you think about those new dragons like cockerel and the wasteland if you're gonna be adding them to your team or if you're just gonna be you know enjoying them being part of your collection but for now I appreciate you being here, and until next time, I shall see you then.